begin by studying the pattern. Here, notice that the first term in our pattern is A, and the second term in our pattern is Z. Notice that A is the first letter of the alphabet, and Z is the last letter of the alphabet. Our next two terms are B and Y. B is the second letter of the alphabet, and Y is the second to last letter of the alphabet. Continuing with the same pattern, notice that the next two terms should be the third letter of the alphabet, and the third to last letter of the alphabet. The third letter of the alphabet is C, and the third to last letter of the alphabet is X. Finally, the last missing term should be the fourth letter of the alphabet. The fourth letter of the alphabet is D, so the three missing terms in our pattern are C, X, and D. Let us learn alphabet pattern. Alphabet patterns also have different types. The first one is repeating pattern. Let us take few examples. A, B, C. A. So what will be the next one? B. And what will be the next one? C. And what will be the next one? Yes, of course, A. And this pattern will keep on going. Let us see the second part. M, P, X, U, M, P, X, U. So the next pattern will be M, P, and X, U. So this will repeat itself again and again. Now we go on to growing pattern. As the name suggests, they will keep on growing. Let us take a simple example. A, B, C, D. So after D, I will get E and then F. And this will continue till G, H, I and so on. Hope you are understanding the alphabet patterns. Let us go to the next example. B, C, D, E, F, G. So you can see that two alphabets starting from B are taken together. So F, G, then what we will get? H, I, J, K. So here, this is how the pattern keeps on growing. Now, decreasing pattern. As the name suggests, the pattern will be will be in decreasing order. Z before Z what comes? Y and before Y X. Before X W. What do you say? Which alphabet will come before W? Yes, V and before V, U. So, it will keep on decreasing like this. Now, let us take one more example. P, S, R, Q, P, O. So, from T, it is going in upward direction. That means, how 
S T Q R O P. Now it is going from T. What comes before T? S. Before S R. Before R Q. P O. So they are written together. So before O, which alphabet comes? N. And before N, M. After that, before M, L. And before L, K. So two alphabets are taken together in the decreasing order. Now, let us say, let us take a skip count. How? See, I took Z. I am going to drop Y. Then X. I have dropped W. V. So which alphabet I am not going to write? That is U. So what will I write? I will write T. And then I, I will drop S. That means I will not write S. And I will write R. So this is how. As we do skip counting in increasing order, this is skip alphabet uh, counting you could say in the decreasing order. Now let us see a few examples of combinations of alphabet and numbers together. So very easy. You can see first see the alphabets A, B, C. So, what will be the next alphabet? D. Now, look at the number. 1. Then 2 is not there. 3. Then 4 is not there. 5. So, which number I am not going to write? 6. And then I am going to write a 7. Or you can say I am adding 2. So, 7 plus 2 is 9. And after D, what I will write? E. E. 9. Okay. Hope you are understanding this. As much as you practice doing this, you will be able to understand the concepts better. Now, let us see another. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, E, F. What with E, F? What will be the next pattern? G, H. But G should be in capital. G, H. You cannot change uh, the alphabets. If they are in capital, you have to write in capital. If they are in small letters, they, you have to write in small letters. This is very much important. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And let us see what is this. 12. 12, 2 R, 24. 12, 3 R, 36. So, 12, 4 are 48. One more pattern. Let us write. So, E, F, G, H. After G, H, what will come? I and J. And after 48, what will come? 12, 5 are? Quickly tell me. You have already done in class 2. 60. So, this is what is the pattern is looking like. Let us go to another example. Look, num let's see how numbers are going. 90, 91, 92. This is an increasing pattern. So after 92, 93 will come. 93. Now, when we look at the alphabets, alphabets are going in the decreasing pattern. Z, Y, X. So before X, what will come? W. But they are in small letters. So I will write W in small. W. Now, 93, 94. Now, after, before W, what, uh, which alphabet come? V. So we get 93W and 94V. Hope my dear children, you are able to understand what is being taught. And I want all of you to do the homework 
given in the assignment as well as kindly practice as many as questions possible ask your mama papa to uh, to give you any type of pattern and keep on practicing them god bless you